Hey guys, so many of you have been asking me to show you guys my entire collection of shark figurines. So today, let's take a look at my entire sharks collection. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's begin. Let's start off with the biggest one, which is this one right here, which is the, um, you know, I call this the Mega Megalodon because it is like really huge. This is like a very, very adorable, um, you know, figurine because you can actually open this mouth and you can actually place like little sharks into its jaw. So it's kind of cool at the same time. And you can also like, you know, get get them back from this little um, opening right over here. So this is a really cool Megalodon, okay? So let's take a look at this one. This one is also very adorable. I basically got this like, you know, recently. Um, I mean, I'm not a really a huge fan of all these cutesy um, figures, but I really love this container. And inside, it act, you can actually find different sea animals. So it comes with, you know, some other um, figurines like a diver. You can also find like a blue shark right over here. There are some corals, um, a manta ray. Okay, sorry, this is not a manta ray. This is more like a blue spotted ray. And some seaweed okay another shark right over here which looks um a little bit like a bull shark i'm not exactly sure because they don't look very accurate and this one it's probably another bull shark okay so more seaweed there are some other fish and um animals inside so they're kind of cool kind of cute but definitely i mean i, I really love this container okay it, it looks really adorable okay moving on we have this which I really like a lot. This is like, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it looks more of a toy than a collectible, but it's a really beautiful great white. You can see it has, actually has two rows of teeth, which is kind of amazing because, you know, most of the time you will only get one row, one row of teeth when it comes to like, you know, figurines and toys. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at this. I think this has got to be our best, best one. It is our most realistic Megalodon in our entire collection. I really love this figure a lot. It looks so realistic. It's pretty um, high quality, I would say. It's made of really hot material. I really love this a lot. Okay, there's an actually of shock that just drop on the floor. So let me take a look at this. This is actually a bonnet hammerhead shock. You can actually see the head is actually shorter and smaller than the arm um, hammerhead. Okay, and another really beautiful um, great white shark. This is a nice figure, of course. I really love this because they actually produce like a goblin shark, which is kind of um, amazing. Because goblin sharks are actually quite hard to find, literally. I mean, in the wild and also figurines when it comes to collectors, it's not easy to find goblin shark figurines for sure. Okay, moving on. Let's take a look at this. What do we have right here? This is actually a gray. Reef Shock, really beautiful one. It looks very, very reali realistic, I must say. Love this a lot. Another Goblin Shock, I think this is actually from the um, National Geographic set. Um, it doesn't look realistic at all, but it's still a nice Shock figurine. Okay, moving on. I think this has got to be one of my favorite um, Great White Shock figures, as you guys can see. It looks kind of um, hideous, um, which means that, you know, it actually captures the um, look and feel of an actual great white, okay? At least to me. Okay, moving on, we have a shark ray right over here. I think in our collection, there are only like two or three shark ray figures. I really love this a lot as well. Whale shark, okay, whale shark. Um, are whale sharks considered as sharks? I think so. I think they are considered as sharks. Moving on, we have a hammerhead shark. And this is supposed to be a baby, but I, of course I know that this figure is actually kind of um, big, so it doesn't really look like a baby. Okay, basking shark. This one is really cool. Um, I really love basking sharks. I think we only have two basking sharks figures in our collection, so this is one of them. Um, this is a kind of um, is this like a rare or what? Yeah, I think so. Or is this like natural? Okay, so this is basically a very nice basking shark figurine. Moving on, I'm not exactly sure what type of shark this is. It looks like a carpet shark. So if you guys know, do let me know down below, okay? 
This figure has been with me for many, many years. It is actually a Megalodon. I really love this figure because you can actually find three rows of teeth at the bottom and on the upper jaw. So that is pretty incredible. Yeah, I don't think many figurines, they actually, you know, sculpt like three rows of teeth for it. So this is actually kind of cool. Another hammerhead shark. This one, oh. Do we have like two of the same one? Yeah, I think so. I think one was actually sent to us by a um, Dan Safari, one of our viewers. Okay, moving on. This is actually a saw fish. So you guys can see it has a saw like two right over here. I mean, to be really honest, I've never seen a saw fish before. I mean, a real life saw fish before. But they actually use this tooth, I mean, this tool to capture its prey. Okay, moving on. Um, another hammerhead shark. Do you guys know that the positioning of the two eyes on the hammerhead shark actually helps them to see better? Yeah, they actually have a wider field of vision. Very, very cool. And they actually use the hammerhead to press down on the prey. So for example, this is a stingray, just for an example. They just press it down while they feed on them like this. Yeah, so they actually use the hammerhead as a support, which is very, very awesome. Next, um, I don't think this should be in this, you know, today's video. This is actually a um, sailfish, okay? Moving on, we have a... Is this a zebra shark? I think so. A zebra shark. So it basically got his name from the patterns on his body that kind of resembles a zebra, okay? Next, we have a nurse shark. Um, this figure is actually quite rare. It took us a long time to actually find a nurse shark figure. Yes, this is our one and only nurse shark figure. So you can easily recognize this shark by these two little structures in front of the face. Okay, so these two fang-like structures. Okay, next up, another hammerhead shark. And this one look, actually looks like a lemon hammerhead shark. I mean, there is a shark called lemon shark. And um, the colors is actually quite similar to this one. So I'm, I'm just giving this a nickname like the Lemon Hammerhead Shark. Yeah. Okay. This one right here is actually a black tip reef shark. It's a really beautiful one. You can see it's really slender. But you can actually find like black tips on all the fins. Okay. So that's a black tip reef shark for you. Blue shark. Yes. This is actually the actual name of this shark. I'm not kidding you. This is not. I didn't call this shark blue, blue shark because it is blue in color. This is the actual name of this shark. So I guess in real life, which I have not seen before, the shark must be really, really blue in color. Moving on, we have an um, oceanic white tip reef shark. There is another reef shark. I mean, there is another um, white tip shark in my um, collection. So this is the other, the other one white tip reef shark and this is an oceanic white tip shark so they kind of look similar in some ways but they are quite different in many other ways as well so for example the white tip on the white tip reef shark is actually very distinctive you can see a very clear line right at the top right over here as compared to the oceanic white white tip shark which is kind of like graduated which means that it is nicely blended into the um body color right over here so you can see you know they're actually two very different looking shocks okay cool let's move on this is a tiger shark it's very easily to recognize this this um, figure has been with me for a couple of months I think probably like less than six months because Dan Safari I've only like uploaded like regularly for the past six months so this is a tiger shark you can actually see um, the beautiful stripes we have two of the exact same figures right over here, okay? Next one is actually one of the very, very um, unique looking sharks out there. This is actually known as the Scallop Hammerhead Shark. Um, it looks very similar to the Hammerhead, but you can see there are like bumps and curves um, on top of his head, which is slightly different. Okay, moving on. Wow, this one is really, really cool. I think this was actually sent to us by, our, our, you know, a little... Um, I mean, a fan from Ross um, called Jeremiah. So I think this is this is from his own collection. So he was very kind to donate this figure to to us. So it's a beautiful one. You can say, wow, really, really amazing. 
I think this has got to be one of our best looking, if not the best one, in our entire collection of shops, okay? Another basking shop figure, this one is actually from the uh, National Geographic set. It's not the best one, it looks kind of, um, um, you know, kind of cheap looking. A great white, this is probably, probably a, um, a bootleg because there's actually no brand to it, okay? This one is probably another bootleg as well, but this one looks kind of cool. I love this. That's been with us for at least five years or so. Mega Mouth Shark, let me find the other one that I really really like. Uh, where is our other Mega Mouth Shark? Okay, right over here. So Mega Mouth Sharks are actually very 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 rare. They are somewhat sim similar to Goblin Sharks in the waist. I mean in such a way that it is so difficult for, uh, for you to actually find them. So they can only be found like really really deep in the ocean water. So we have two Mega Mouth Sharks right over here. Moving on, another beautiful goblin shark figure. I mean, this one looks a bit more cartoonish, looks a bit more um, kiddish, but it's still a really beautiful one. I really love, you know, how they have actually made this um, snout right here, which is really sharp. I love it. Next up, we have a bull shark figure. This is one of our very first few shark figures, and um, it has been with us for many years. So bull sharks are actually quite aggressive sharks. There are more attack on humans recorded for a bull shark as compared to great whites. So yeah, this is known as a sand tiger shark. I mean, you can easily recognize this by the spots on this body and the color that it has. Okay, so it's really beautiful. Um, it has a bit of like brownish tone to it, so that resembles a um, uh, this is the color of the sand. Right here, we have a nurse. Uh, I mean, this is not a nurse shark. It definitely looks like a nurse, nurse shark with this two fang like structure. But this is actually our bamboo shark. Yeah, let's try it. Um, this one is another very unique shark figure. We got this figure a couple of months back. And this is actually known as a thrasher shark with a super long tail. Okay? Moving on. This is a great white. This is a nice figure. We got this like. Probably two months ago or less than two months ago. This is a very nice figure. You can actually move um, The head the tail can be moved the flippers can be moved as well Um, great white not too sure how we got this Another really beautiful great white this figure has been around for many years as well But it only has like two rows of teeth at the bottom and it has basically no teeth at the top Which is I mean, that's not the most accurate one out there Basking shark figure. This is also another really beautiful one. It looks very accurate in my opinion This is a Mako shark. It looks like the blue shark that I've shown you guys just now I mean if you do a comparison, they do look kind of um, similar, but this is actually our Mako shark We do have a short fin Mako shark. I think I've already shown you guys just now if I'm not wrong Okay, another great white beautiful one this, I have no idea what this is. This is basically from the um, National Geographic set. It doesn't have the name written right below, so I can't really tell you what this is. It looks a little bit like a Mako shark or, you know, um, a bull shark. I have no idea. This one right here is actually known as a robber gang. It's a beautiful one, I must say. Fruit shark, okay, fruit shark. Our one and only fruit shark figure in our collection. This is the um, short fin Mako shark. So previously, I've actually shown you guys the um, Mako shark, and this is actually the short fin Mako shark. I have no idea why they are different. I mean, why their names are different when they look so similar. I mean, if you guys know, do help me out down below and let me know, okay? So this is another really beautiful um, shark figure. It is a um, great white shark figure. Two rows of teeth at the bottom, but only one row on top. So that is not exactly the most accurate figure that you can find and this one right here it is a leopard shark okay so yeah very cool i mean probably it gets its name from the, the patterns i think most likely this one i have not i don't have really i don't have a good idea of what this is it looks a little bit like a nurse shark it's probably a bamboo shark no idea shark ray right over here this one is easy to tell and this is actually named as a zebra shark, but I have no idea whether this is supposed to be like a leopard shark because it doesn't have any stripes at all. 
So to call this a zebra shark might be a little bit inaccurate. And this one right here is actually a ghost shark. Ghost sharks are actually not exactly sharks. They are like kind of like a cartilage kind of um sea creature. Next up, another sawfish right over here, which looks great. We have a great white, another great white. Uh, we got this figure recently, but I'm quite, quite disappointed with this. It doesn't look attractive at all. This is probably a mini version of a blue shark. Or, yeah, I think it should be a blue shark. Or a hammerhead right over here. This figure is kind of new as well. We have so many hammerheads, guys. Another one, okay. This figure is relatively new in our collection as well. This one, I think it should be a zebra shark. I have no idea, but I'm guessing it is a zebra shark. These two are the same figures. I mean, I'm not sure sure whether this is a pointer shark. I can't remember the name. And our last figure of the day, it's actually a lemon shark. This is a really beautiful one. Okay, so this is basically our entire Sharks collection. I'm not too sure whether there are more Sharks for us to actually collect. So if you guys know if there are any other Sharks that I should be getting to show you guys, you know, comment down below. I'll be happy to, um, you know, do another video for you guys, okay? So thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.